everybody, nice to see you again. And here we're going to be looking at another Chemistry Lab video. This time we're going to be looking at supporting equipment. Because in the lab we have lots of things that we need to understand. You can see by this graphic here, which we have seen before, that we have lots of different things to look in our lab. Okay, and so we've got things to hold um, our equipment, which is what we're looking at here. And I've just termed it supporting equipment. So typically those things are like tripods. What are tripods? Stands, clamps, and tongs. So let's get into it. Okay, so supporting equipment is basically designed to support other parts of our experiment. I mean, often we have to heat materials, but we can't just hold them with our hand. We need to have another piece of equipment to hold things. Um, sometimes we have to heat something for long periods of time, so we need other supporting pieces of equipment. And so the typical one, which a lot of people know, is this retort stand. So you can see that the retort stand is just here. And uh, with that stand, we can add clips to that stand to hold different things for us. And so a retort stand's function, if you will, is to support other pieces of equipment. So clamps and glassware, etc. We have a boss head. Now this boss head is a clamp that attaches to the rod. And we can move that boss head up and down um, to change the height. And we can add other pieces of equipment to the boss head. So it's like a, a clamp that allows us to add other parts or pieces of equipment to our retort stand. Um, then we have different types of clamps. Now here I've just shown a generic clamp that I'm using to, to place a thermometer in um, while I heat some liquid. But we can also have a, that can be holding other things, other pieces of glassware. You'll see when we do separations that it will hold, let's say, a filter funnel or it could hold um, a condenser, etc. So lots of things that we can use this clamp to hold for us. Uh, then we have our tripod. Now our tripod is pretty much a very uh, pivotal piece of equipment when we're heating because more often than not when we're heating large volumes of water we want to hold that water above the Bunsen at a fixed distance and we generally use a tripod here. Now tri means three and that's because it's got three legs. Okay and so it supports other flasks that we might want to heat. So here's uh, a close-up of some of the other pieces of equipment that we've got here. We've mentioned a tripod but we also have like a wire gauze. So in this particular experimental setup, we're doing evaporation. It's a separation technique that we'll look at in another video, but we've got an evaporated dish that we need to hold in place because in that dish we have liquid and we wanna heat that liquid up. And so we place the liquid on top of a wire gauze and that wire gauze function is to spread the heat out. Okay, and we'll, and we'll have a look at that in another video as well. But then we have our tripod as we've mentioned. Here we can see another experiment that we tend to do when we're looking at, let's say, acids and bases and titration when we get more into chemistry. But here we have our retort stand, which we've seen. But here we have a burette. Now that burette allows us to add volumes of a liquid to another container very, very accurately. So we need to hold that nice and steady so we can add the volume and we can read off it. So we have another type of clamp here called a burette clamp. And then of course, we have a test tube holder. That test tube holder allows us to hold the test tube for a lot of different functions. So you can see here that I'm heating some liquid and while I heat that liquid in a test tube, I'm using a test tube holder to hold the test tube. So beakers, uh, I should say beaker tongs. Now there's two main types of tongs that we tend to use in the lab. And the first one is beaker tongs. The reason why they're called a beaker tong is because they hold beakers. And you can see here that the um, ends of the tong here are the shape. It's a wider mouth on the beaker, on the um, tong I should say. And then we have some, some rubber or plastic there to give us improved friction. So when we get the beaker and grab it from the sides, it's not gonna slip. So you can see here a little demonstration here that I've done in another video of looking at pressure. At the end, I had to get the beaker tongs and hold a tin, an aluminum tin can, and then I had to invert that pretty quickly. So I needed to have good friction between the beaker tongs and the aluminum um, can. And of course, that works the same if I wanna take a beaker off a tripod at the end and cool it down. Then we have crucible tongs. Now these crucible tongs sometimes are called just metal tongs, but crucible tongs are specifically designed 
to hold a crucible. Now, what's a crucible? Well, you can see here in this video here um, and pictures that a crucible is just a ceramic device that we use to heat solids. Now, to pick those up and put them on the tripod with a pipe clay triangle, but to pick them up and move them, we need to have a specific type of shape to our metal tong. And you can see here that our metal tongs are shaped so that they can move around the crucible and pick it up and put it down. So that's it for this video here. And I've got a little uh, bit of uh, self-advertising here because if you find these videos useful, then why not share them and of course investigate other types that I've got. So on the flipteacher.com, we have more homework labs. We have of course, biology, chemistry, physics, geology, and skills, and all those are being in development at the moment because of this crazy COVID world that we live in. I'm making these uh, uh, videos for you guys, but we've got them in different areas. And of course, as you know, the biology videos go from year seven up to year 10. So we're talking about high school science now, going from um, our beginning science in year seven all the way up to year 10. So when you look at chem biology or chemistry, then you'll see four years worth of videos basically that's what that's the aim anyway so that's our homework lab if you're a primary school student right so if you're a parent or a primary school teacher or you have little brothers and sisters then why don't you check out the primary um, syllabus um, videos which we're making at the moment and uh, keep your eyes peeled for those because they will be popping up through the year as well but they're ex they're designed for youngest minds inquisitive minds um, to, to, to do experiments at home mostly but to really get them thinking about science so that's pretty cool there and then of course we have our senior videos where we do more sophisticated chemistry and physics so those ones check those ones out the year 12 ones are all done for chemistry and physics the year 11s are in production so hopefully that uh, makes sense to you if you like those sort of things share them around and of course while they're being built anyway you're going to be getting 40 percent off with this code so just type that code into the area where you go to pay and you get 40% off those courses. So it's pretty cool uh, when uh, if you get in early, like any Ernal Bird special. All right, nice to see you again and I'll catch you in another video.